from a 2022 uh, regulation perspective from the prospectus as well as from the notifications that have been shared. Note that these are all 2022 uh, based rules which we have as of now. These we are sharing uh, so that you can be prepared uh, for the counselling as far as the rules are concerned. Uh, the notifications and info uh, guides were already there in the uh, Zyn for Zynard subscribers. Uh, for all the other subscribers, uh, for uh, Zynard subscribers, the info video links are also available under the resources section. You can uh, get to see that. Today, uh, we will look at Kerala in detail, including the joining exit rules, etc. Because Kerala has some minor changes in terms of the rules with respect to state round to joining exit retention of state round one seats etc so those two we will be looking at in uh, uh, in uh, detail uh, kerala basically has a combined state counseling for all india seats and private seats uh, so for the state quota seats which are 50 percentage of the state government institute seats and the private institute seats all private institute seats note that kerala is not an open state which means the private institute seats in kerala are not available on an all India basis. There are no private institute seats available on an all India basis for all candidates. However, the NRI seats are available on an all India basis. Uh, like in certain states like Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, etc. The private seats, a part of the private seats are not available on an all India basis. basis. Kerala is similar to Maharashtra, where, uh, which is a closed state. Now, uh, the seats, what seats come under the Kerala PG Medical Counseling? 50% of the Government medical colleges in Kerala, uh, government seats under the state government quota uh, are under Kerala uh, PG medical counselling. 100% uh, of seats in private non-minority colleges and 100% of seats in private minority colleges come under uh, the Kerala state medical counselling. This is conducted by uh, Commissioner of Entrance Examination, CE Kerala basically. We will get you the web website details too. Uh, need PG percentile based qualification. The basic qualification is that for you are uh, general PWD, general candidates or EWS candidates, the qualification is 50 percentile and for general PWD or EWS PWD candidates, 45 percentile is the uh, need PG exam based qualification requirement and for SC, ST or SCBC candidates, 40 percentage per percentile is the qualification. There is one query which usually comes up, I am an OBC, uh, I am an SCBC candidate in Kerala but I do not belong to the OBC non-creamy layer. Uh, in all India counselling. Will I be eligible for Kerala counselling if I am between 40 and 50 percentile? Yes. If you are above 40 percentile and you are SCBC in Kerala, you are eligible for Kerala state counselling irrespective of your eligibility as OBC NCL in all India. Let us say even if you have not applied as OBC in all India, you applied as uh, in uh, NEET PG counselling, uh, you have applied as general category in NEET PG counselling. Even in that case, if you are SCBC and while applying to Kerala counselling, you apply as SCBC and are above 40 percentile, 40 to 50 or 50 or above, you will be eligible for Kerala state counselling. So, a reservation, you can see the reservation percentages here in Kerala. The category of seats uh, which are classified under SCBC 27 percentage and these need to be, uh, they need to produce a non creamy layer certificate. This set of seats are available over here. You have a uh, this combining up to 27 percentage uh, under uh, SCBC category. Uh, if you belong to any of these categories, you will have to produce a certificate uh, mentioning that you belong to that particular category with an any uh, non creamy layers certificate. SCST reservation is also mentioned over here. There is one seat reserved for ex servicemen of Kerala and one seat reserved for dependent of Jawan killed in action in Kerala. In case there is no ex servicemen candidate, that seat goes into general merit. In case there is no uh, dependent of Jawan killed in action, then it goes to an ex servicemen or ex servicemen uh, dependent of ex servicemen or in that if and dependent of ex servicemen is not available, it goes into a state merit uh, for all candidates uh, of Kerala. Uh, now, a reservation, note that including any, uh, there is a 5 percentage horizontal reservation for PWD candidates. You need to get a, a certificate of disability from the district medical board. After getting a certificate of disability from the district medical board, you have to appear before the state medical board on the prescribed dates for being eligible, uh, for being, uh, for a verification of the PWD status and for being eligible for PWD seats under the Kerala State Medical Counseling, uh, PG Medical Counseling. Now, reservation PWD or ex servicemen dependent of Jawan killed on any of these reservations except for unreserved open is only for Kerala domicile candidates or Kerala origin candidates, in, uh, in fact. If you are an MBBS, 
which we'll come to on the next slide. If you are an MBBS from K uh, Kerala, but you are not an origin of Kerala, you are from another state, but did your MBBS from Kerala, you may still be eligible for Kerala's uh, government seats or private seats, but you will not come under the reservation criteria. Reservation in Kerala state self-financing institutes, Christian minority, Muslim minority and NRI reservation is available. Within NRI, you have NRI Christian minority in the Christian minority institutions and NRI Muslim minority in the Muslim minority institutions. So, if you are applying as let us say Christian minority, if you are a Christian minority candidate, you will be eligible for Christian minority and if you are also an NRI, you will be eligible for NRI Christian minority seats. If you are a Muslim minority candidate, one, a Muslim minority candidate, you belong to the Muslim minority candidate community. So, you will be eligible for MU seats over here under government institute reservation and you will also be eligible for Muslim minority seats in private institutes and NRA Muslim minority seats in private institutes. So, uh, other than this, the other reservation as far as in-service candidates is concerned is mentioned over here. You will have 10 percentage of, there, there are 10 percentage of seats reserved for in-service candidates. In-service candidates are basically uh, medical education service uh, candidates or uh, health service candidates or insurance medical service candidates. Uh, uh, the percentage of reservation uh, is uh, total 10 percentage and up to 30 percentage marks are uh, allotted uh, usually around 1 percentage, 2 percentage for non-rural service cat category and for rurals or difficult uh, rural service categories there is a higher percentage per year. Maximum is 30 percentage. You can go through the prospectus for more details if you are a service candidate. So it's highly likely that you would know the percentages and the reservation for the service, uh, the uh, the in, uh, the exact uh, institution that you are working for. And uh, there is a revision in the upper age limit for MESQ, HSQ, and IMSQ candidates. 48 years for MESQ and 46 years for HSQ and IMSQ as of last year. Now. The, cat, the percentage split of this 10 percentage, let us say there are uh, a total of uh, 60 seats available under this uh, set of uh, in-service candidate for, for in-service candidates, it is split as 45 percentage, 45 percentage and 10 percentage for these three categories as mentioned here. Now eligibility, we come to the basic eligibility for Kerala seats, one category one Indian citizens, sit, candidates who are citizens of India with and of Kerala origin. With an MBBS degree recognized by MCA, MCA. the MBBS degree can be any state MBBS or FMGs too. Uh, note this, FMGs too are eligible. FMGs are Indian citizens who have done the foreign medical graduation and of, are of Kerala origin. How do we define Kerala origin? The certificates required for Kerala origin, we'll uh, let you know in the certificates, uh, we'll, we'll discuss that in the certificate when we we'll discuss the certificates. But this is the first category of candidates who are eligible for Kerala government and private seats. Second, candidates who have completed MBBS from any medical college in Kerala, then you are even if you are not a Kerala origin, you will be eligible for the Kerala, uh, uh, Kerala government and private seats available. Now look at it. Uh, if you are an MBBS, for instance, if you are an MBBS from the state of uh, uh, from the state of Kerala, but you originally belong to the state of Andhra Pradesh, let us say, you will be eligible for Kerala government and private quota seats. Uh, other than this, uh, you have the NRI seats, which for which all candidates across India are eligible. And PAO uh, and PAO and OCA candidates last year were considered as uh, NR, only for NRI seats and will not be were not eligible for any reservation. But this year, PAO and OCA candidates might be allowed uh, equivalence to Indian citizens. So have a look at it. Otherwise, uh, uh, all candidates are eligible for NRI. We uh, will come to NRI uh, NRI eligibility and then we will discuss the eligibility for NRI. So NRI eligibility. Uh, all candidates are eligible for NRI. As of last year, OCA PAO candidates are only eligible for NRI seats. This year it may change. Uh, eligibility is that uh, if the candidate is NRI or the candidate is dependent on one of this uh, one of the uh, 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 one of the relatives who fall under this criteria, either your father, mother, brother, or sister, including your first cousin cousins or husband or wife, they are NRIs. So basically, your father, mother, brother, uh, own brother or own sister or your cousins, your father's brother's uh, sons or daughters or your mother's brother's uh, sons or daughters, similarly sister's sons or daughters are NRIs or your husband or wife is NRI. In that case, they can and you are dependent on them, you will be, they will be able to sponsor you for the NRI seats. Second, uh, or uh, brothers or sisters of father or mother, basically, basically your uncle or aunt, they are uh, NRIs, then they will be eligible for sponsor sponsoring you as NRI. 
if you are dependent on them and half brother or half sister or adopted father or adopted mother who is an nri then you will be eligible so uh, this uh, you know, provided uh, 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 provided you have the necessary documentation towards that and uh, all state domicile candidates basically are eligible for nri quota which we already explained what are the documents kerala has some difference in the set of documents to be up, uh, uploaded there is a some there are some specific documents which are required uh, over and above whatever is required for others by other state candidates for uh, here you need a passport copy and visa attested by the embassy passport and visa attested by the embassy is required so you take your passport or visa to the and visa to the embassy and get them attested this is if your nri sponsor is a if your sponsor is an nri if it is an oca the green card or oc documents of the sponsor with the job clearly mentioned is also re uh, is required to be attested by the embassy job should be clearly mentioned in case uh, your visa is expiring before the date of admissions you may not be eligible your visa end date should be up to the last date of admissions only then you would be eligible uh, this and in, in case your nri job is not mentioned in the oc card or in the uh, visa copy etc in that case the employment certificate of sponsor attested by the embassy or cons uh, consulate authorities should be provided so if the job is not mentioned you get a letter uh, mentioning the job details and then get it attested by the embassy and this is a requirement uh, relationship certificate has to be issued by the revenue authorities exact relationship should be established note that uh, if your father or mother uh, is the sponsor then educational certificates are accepted let us say you are from a different state even then a relationship certificate is required from the revenue authorities you uh, go to your revenue authority basically your tasildar office or uh, village officer too would suffice get a relationship certificate which is clear which cl uh, which clearly mentions the relationship between you and the, uh, basically the nra how how the nra is related to you this has to be explicitly mentioned for instance niece is not the right term which is to be used it needs to be explained as to what how the person is related to as a niece or as in let's say my uh, um, father's sister's uh, father's sister's daughter can be uh, 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 should be explained in order to uh, validate the exact nature of relationship and second uh, in case your father uh, like we mentioned if your father and mother is a sponsor you can have an educational certificate where your father's name is mentioned that would suffice for any candidate after that uh, if you belong to kerala this relationship certificate is given in a specific format uh, we in case you uh, you are a subscriber of zainat you can send across uh, a mail to us we'll also send you the format or we'll make it available in the resources section uh, affidavit in 200 rupees stamp paper notarized by the notary public mentioning that all expenses will be borne by the sponsor this is an affidavit we also have this format in case you require you can mail us if the sponsor is abroad now you can be notarized by the authority as per the other uh, country's regulations you can do that and this is what it's for nra now we'll come to the uh, formal process of uh, the entire counseling this will be in detail and you will have complete information on what happened last year if there are any changes in the, the in this year's counseling we will also come up with that application or notifications the website address given here is for 2022 a similar uh, link would be provided in ce.kerala.gov.in for 2023 once the notifications start rolling out uh, registration is a basic registration uh, that you do on the web, web portal with your email id and the mobile number you after that after you register with your email id and mobile number you will get a, an application number which you will have to save for future reference and then proceed to log in with the email uh, with the uh, uh, details that you shared along with the password and enter the basic details the communication details address uh, academic and reservation details and pay the fee online uh, by cash or through e chalan you can either pay the uh, fee online through uh, uh, online uh, or uh, through a payment gateway or just uh, print a chalan go to a post office and then make the payment there they will update it uh, and it will reflect in your login usually you can uh, usually most of the candidates pay it online uploading of images and certificates required this is required for kerala an upload of certificates and uh, uh, required uh, the signature and uh, the documents are required to be uploaded now note that kerala does not ask you to send across any original any copies of documents directly to ce all documents are required to be uploaded online originals verification happens at the time of admissions 
uh, only in service can okay in case of in service candidates in service candidates do not need to forward any application to the uh, to uh, ce candidates have to forward a print of the application form along with the declarations the service details etc to the uh, head of the department and that moves through the uh, right uh, uh, through the relevant authority and then that is forwarded to the uh, CEE and CEE the admissions committee then scrutinizes all the applications and the PG selection committee finally approves the eligibility for in-service. So it is through your head of the department or your proper authority relevant authority for you. Uh, there is no hard copies that need to be sent. Uh, to CE for any uh, for the entire application process certificates required the certificate requires that required is mentioned in detail over here I am not sure if it is visible but in any case we will also have this as an info guide you will be able to get that for Indian citizens of Kerala origin in case you belong to Kerala origin even if you have not done your MBBS from Kerala we mentioned that you are eligible for Kerala government and private seats right so in that case you need to have an SSLC certificate an Indian passport birth certificate of or birth certificate mentioning your place of birth as Kerala as any place in Kerala or your parents uh, SSLC Indian passport or birth certificate mentioning their place of birth as Kerala in case you have this then you will be eligible considered as origin of Kerala and you will be eligible for uh, for uh, seats under Kerala, uh, government and private seats under Kerala. If parents' documents is produced, then a corroborative certificate needs to be produced, mentioning such show that to show the relationship between the parent and the candidate. So this uh, 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 this uh, uh, or a nativity certificate of the candidate or the parent uh, should be produced in uh, uh, in case your uh, passport or birth certificate or uh, uh, SSLC certificate is not available. You can also produce a a nativity certificate showing that either the candidate or the parent was born in Kerala. This can be taken from a vill village officer. Uh, and uh, for non Keralites who has done who have done MBBS from Kerala, a certificate from the principal from where you did your MBBS mentioning that you have done your MBBS from Kerala is required. In case you have not got that, it is better to get that. Otherwise, an MBBS degree certificate is more than enough. You just send your MBBS degree certificate, uh, a copy of the MBBS, upload your uh, a copy of the MBBS degree certificate. That uh, is fine. And uh, nationality, uh, that is fine as far as uh, this goes. See, this has been mentioned when we call up Kerala and uh, they have asked, them, asked candidates to send up only their MBBS certificate. You can also re-verify with CE once the uh, once the Sears prospectus is out. Nationality proof uh, is required uh, to be uploaded, passport or voter ID or if SSLC has been done from Kerala, then a state board, then Kerala SSLC certificate or birth certificate which mentions the nationality as Indian is enough. Only Kerala origin uh, are eligible for community reservation like we said. For community reservation, uh, the EWS, SCBC or SCST certificates are to be produced along with the non-creamy layer certificate mentioning that this is for Kerala state educational purposes. Don't confuse the OBC non-creamy layer certificate taken for central counseling with this. That is completely different. You have to get an SCBC certificate which is or an EWS SCST certificate. For SCBC candidates, only for SCBC candidates, you need to get a non-creamy layer certificate for Kerala educational purposes. Uh, if you can, a candidate belongs to OEC, an income certificate may be required for claiming reservation. Uh, Inter-caste marriage certificate if applicable, if you are claiming one of the castes of your parents based on, an, uh, uh, then an inter-caste marriage certificate is required. Uh, if you are claiming reservation under uh, 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 under the ex-servicemen quota or the dependent of Jawan skilled in action or dependent of ex-servicemen quota, then you will need to produce the certificates from the Zilla Sainik Welfare Association. Uh, for PWD candidates, obviously like we said, uh, there is a medical board based verification. You need to get a district medical board certificate and then appear for verification. Minority certificate if applicable. Minority certificate is a different format. Uh, is in a different format from the community certificate. Let us say you belong to Muslim minority. There might be a minority certificate that is required. You need to get that minority certificate as well. Uh, if it is a, uh, that is also available. And a fee concession of, uh, for fee concessions, you need to uh, get separate certificates. The annexures are provided in the prospectus itself. For every candidate, irrespective of whether you need you are from Kerala origin or not, the date of birth proof needs to be provided in the form of SSLC or uh, uh, SSE or, hi or higher secondary cross or Indian passport or birth certificate that is required. Application form uh, to be produced by in-service candidate that is to, through the proper channel 
and print out of the first page and these are the certificates that need to be uploaded uh, uh, till point 10 whatever you have are the certificates that need to be uploaded during uh, the registration for Kerala counseling only after verification of all these certificates you will get your uh, uh, you you will be part of a merit list and you will be able to fill choices post that you can see that these certificates are required uh, during the time of admission uh, application form printout mbbs degree or provisional pass crri crri or in case you are completing your crri at a later point in time before 11th august then you will have to get a certificate from the principal mentioning that you will be completing your crri before the 11th of august and need pg admit card scorecard and permanent medical registration certificate or provisional certificate from uh, this uh, issued by NMC or state medical council. The prospectus would mention that a medical registration is required from uh, TMC or uh, currently the Kerala state medical council. But note that uh, candidates have been able to join without the uh, uh, Kerala state medical council registration. You need any medical council registration from uh, NMC or from any state medical council which is valid, which is valid at the time of joining. Uh, transfer certificate from MBBS Institute is a requirement. Uh, you may be allowed admission, but that is a flexibility. Try to get a transfer certificate from the institute uh, where you uh, completed your MBBS in case you are looking at Kerala. Many candidates move, go to the institutes in Kerala, get their, get their transfer certificate, try to get the uh, uh, certificate mentioning that you have done MBBS from Kerala, etc. So that it is uh, to be on the safer side basically. Eligibility certificate is required which you will have time for getting your eligibility certificate later from Kerala University and the allotment letter has to be taken. So all these certificates mentioned as original are originals are required and originals. Uh, in case of uh, uh, Kerala service candidates relieving letter has to be taken and bond needs to be submitted by all candidates at the time of admission with surety signature. The sureties we will be mentioning it uh, later. Uh, seven days time will be given after admission for uh, usually for the bond. There might be flexibility but it is better to ensure that you get the surety signature and everything uh, if you are appearing for Kerala because in Kerala you would know that uh, we will come to the rules, round wise rules which will tell you that if you don't join or there is an admission uh, uh, cancellation you will not be eligible for round 2 after round 1 so we will uh, be aware of that. Round 1 is fresh choice filling but Kerala's choice filling has a unique uh, 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 has a rule which is unique to only very few seats which is uh, basically uh, 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 basically removal of certain choices after round 1. Round 1 is fresh choice filling. You will fill in all the choices that you wish to join in Kerala in round 1. Straightforward. If you joined and you are willing to upgrade you uh, in state round 2 then you can go ahead and join the institute after allotment in round 1. And during state round 2, you provide and you actually fill in all those options that you are interested in. But the choices we will come to later. It is a simple process. But during round 2, you have to confirm again. Round 1 choices will not be taken automatically unless you go to round 2. fill uh, When the choices are available, whatever is available, you need to confirm during round 2 for upgradation. Let us say you are allotted in round 2 and you do not join. Kerala calls this free exit. But there is a difference in the free exit between Kerala and All India. We will explain how. Round 1, you are allotted and you do not join. In Kerala, you will not be eligible for round 2. But you won't lose your security deposit. So this is what Kerala calls as free exit. You don't lose your security deposit. Around 10,000 or 5,000 you will pay before choice filling in round 1. That you won't lose but you won't be eligible for round 2. Unlike in All India where you will be eligible for round 2. So in Kerala, round 1, you fill in your choices. You are not joining the choice. You are out of round 2. Mop up you may be eligible but round 2 you are not eligible. And round 1 joined and then you resign the seat within a particular date, within the prescribed date. Even then you are not eligible for round 2 in Kerala but would be eligible for mop up in case you don't join any other seat by the end of other round 2s. And in round 2, uh, uh, lower order uh, round 2 when, you, when it comes to round 2 who is eligible for round 2? Uh, anyone who is all India round 2 joined are not eligible for state round 2. One, state R1 if you had been allotted and you did not join or if you are allotted you joined and resigned then you are not eligible for round 2. This two set of candidates are not eligible for round 2. Second, there is no fresh choice filling in round 2. When you say fresh choice filling you can't add on a new seat completely in round 2. What happens is let us say you have filled in 10 different seats during in round 2 in round 1. You filled in 
10 different seats in round 1. Choice number 1, choice number 2, 3, 4, 5 and up to 10. Fifth seat was allotted to you in round 1 and you joined the seat. So, fifth, uh, the fifth seat that has been allotted, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 are lower, lesser preferred choices that you filled in. 1, 2, 3, 4 are higher preferred choices. So, in round 2 what happens is, when you are opting for upgradation, entering, choices 6 to 10 will be removed. Because you consider them lower preferred choices, you will not be able to add those choices. Choices 1 to 4 will be there for you to reorder. 5 is already with you. You join that choice. 1 to 4, you can reorder it in any way. Delete a choice, order, make one as the last choice, etc. You can do whatever you want with choices 1 to 4. You cannot add a new choice. You cannot add choices 6 to 10. Within 1 to 4 is what you can play around, you can move around choices. So basically be very clear if you are getting a seat allotted in round in round 1 and you are going for upgradation in round 2, any choice below that is not going to be available in round 2, any choice you did not add in round 1 is not going to be available. If there are new seats added, then you might have an additional uh, choice, but that will be only limited to the new seats. From among the choices available in round 1, after being allotted a particular choice, only better choices in the list will be available in round to be very clear about it. And uh, however, rearrangement of that is available. Let us say you have filled uh, filled uh, 100 choices. Choice 50 is what you got, what you were allotted and you joined in round 1. 1 to 49, you can rearrange in whatever format that you want. So, that let that be clear. And round 2, after you are allotted a seat in round 2 and you join the seat. This is a tricky scenario. What is joining? Uh, what is considered as joining in uh, state of Kerala, one, round two, you are allotted, you are given five, six days to join, you go and join the institute on day one. First day itself, you go join at the institute. Round one, you are allotted a seat, you joined and you retain the same seat in round two, nothing to be done. You don't need to go to round one institute, but you are considered as round two joined right from that particular date. Which date? Right from the day one. You have joined a seat in day one, either a round two new seat or a round one retained seat is already with you. If you have joined the seat, till the last date of admissions, you have a chance to resign the seat. Either a round one retain seat or a round two join seat too. You can resign till the last date of admissions. They will give you five days after round two to join, right? The last date of admissions will be prescribed. Till that point, you can resign the seat. If you resign, you will not be considered a state round two joined for All India Counseling. This is what the re rule clearly prescribes. But... There is uh, always a confusion on whether an R2 joined candidate can be allowed to resign or not. Kerala is allowing this till the last date of admissions and not including them under the state R2 join list. Don't take a chance, but take a proper call after your round 2 allotment and whether you want to join or not. Uh, if you join, there is always a risk of somebody taking this up. Uh, but as of now, the rule exists, is, uh, the rule that exists is this. And round 2, if you do not join a seat uh, after allotment, uh, you will not be part of the state round 2 join list, but you will lose your security deposit of 10,000 and you, but you can register for mop-up, uh, you will be eligible for mop-up counselling through fresh choice funding again. Uh, the 10,000 will be a penalty, you need to repay the penalty. Mop-up round choice filling. Uh, who is eligible for mop-up? Any, any candidate who is joined in All India round 2 or state R2, any state is not eligible for uh, uh, state uh, mop-up in Kerala. All India mop-up allotted candidates. Very clearly, this is something you will get back to us at the time of All India counselling. Uh, the prospectus itself prescribes and the mop-up notification last year clearly prescribed that All India mop-up allotted candidates are not eligible for Kerala state mop-up. You are allotted and did not join in mop-up. Let us say you are not allotted in mop-up and you did not join, then you are not eligible for further rounds. So, you are allotted and you join the mop-up, even then you are not eligible for further rounds of Kerala. Uh, same choices will be considered for institutional level vacancy uh, and uh, 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 this will be considered for the preparation of lists for stray vacancy. We will come to the list. Conversions happen in the mop-up round. So, in the mop-up round, you will have a fresh choice filling. Basically, uh, round 1, round 2, we said that uh, the lower order choices will uh, not be available. In round 3, uh, which is mop-up, there will be fresh choice filling. All choices will be available, including the choices that belong to other categories because they may not get converted. For instance, NRI seats may get converted to state merit seats. Seats belonging to PH may get converted to the, uh, uh, the, uh, the category that they belong to. Uh, etc. So, uh, stay, then after mop-up, stray round happens usually in uh, Kerala. They call it an institutional round. 
though ce even though ce calls it an institutional round state rounds have a different uh, uh, logic followed as far as the allotment list goes kerala will consider the mop up registered candidates who were not allotted in mop up as eligible for stray so basically your allot your attended mop up filled your choices but you are not allotted then you are eligible for stray out of these candidates an allotment list in itself is prepared basically a stray allotment list is prepared saying this candidate would have been allotted is is allotted the seat being the first uh, preferred candidate for that choice this is published one second so uh, we'll come to the allotment list first we'll explain that so if you are part of the stray allotment list you go to the institute you are the first preferred candidate for that particular seat which you are allotted so you go to the institute and from the institute uh, in the institute you submit your originals pay the fee then you are supposed to be given the seat first so if you are walking into the institute being part of the allotted list in stray round you will get the seat that is a rule kerala also publishes a probable list which is the second list this is also from the choices but kind of a waiting list for the allotment list let us say a candidate who is first in the allotted list does not go and join the institute the a candidate from the probable list for the seat can be allotted this will be also seat wise basically saying that this seat uh, these candidates are probable uh, are a part of the probable list for a seat so if the allotted list candidate doesn't uh, go to the institute in kerala for the institutional vacancy round the institute is supposed to provide the uh, seat to the next candidate who is in the probable list then comes the eligible list a complete master list of whoever is eligible is sent if allotted list person and the probable list uh, candidate did not turn up in the institution within the by the last date by the last time then anybody from the eligible list can be allotted this is a process which is better than many other processes even all india does not adopt it but this is a process which is better than many other processes which are allotted which are forwarded by uh, which is used even by all india or mcc but now what happens is once this becomes the process the institute is also supposed to send across the list of candidates who came in for allotment like anybody who is in the allotted list did they come in and did they pick up the seat anybody who was in the probable list did they come in where they allotted or somebody else better who was in the allotted list was allotted and if both of them have not walked in only then somebody from the eligible list might be should be allotted so this process is followed and they have to go back to uh, kerala ce to intimate who had dropped in with proper details which is a slightly better process than and with higher control than what other states adopt or all india adopts not sure why still mcc has not thought about it but uh, fee and penalty in kerala pg medical counseling the application fee uh, is uh, rupees 1000 at the time of this is non refundable uh, this can be through online payment or e chalan or at the post office 1000 for uh, all candidates and uh, rupees 500 for scst candidates service candidates service quota candidates in case they are applying for regular seats uh, then they will have to apply another 500 rupees security deposit has been introduced from last year for kerala rupees 10000 has been has to be paid from in round one uh, this is rupees 5000 for scst candidates this will be the adjusted to the tuition fee in case you end up joining the uh, uh, joining the institute uh, round one in case you are allotted and you don't join this security deposit is not forfeited which is called free exit but you will not be eligible for the next round registration fee for mop up kerala has come up with this registration fee which is a high uh, which is uh, also the first time last year uh, tuition fee should be paid for the government institutes like 66000 is a tuition fee that needs to be paid and in case of private institutes 2 lakh has to be paid in case you are appearing for private institutes as well uh, 50 percentage is the fee that needs to be paid for scst candidates for government uh, this amount won't be refunded if you don't join the seat in mop up in case you join the seat it will be adjusted against the course tuition fee for government institute uh, is rupees 66000 uh, other than that the caution deposit of 10100 or something needs to be paid making it around 76300 or so uh, but the tuition fee is around six, rupees 66000 per annum online payment is possible or through the post office is possible uh, this uh, uh, is to be paid at the allotment allotted institute if uh, uh, upgraded and joined uh, then the tuition fee uh, paid in the previous institute if you are upgrading from round one to round two uh, let us say you are moving from a government institute to a private institute then the earlier tuition fee will be adjusted and you will need to and uh, will be sent across to the uh, new institute uh, you will need to pay the remaining adjusted balance fee 
Tuition fee for private institutes is mentioned over here. Clinical is 15.75 lakhs per annum. Non-clinical is 9.56 lakhs per annum. And NRI quota is 35 lakhs. There is no distinction like private government management quota because only Kerala origin or Kerala MBBS candidates are available for all private institute seats. Uh, uh, rest to be paid at the allotted institute. Uh, we'll just have a check on this 5 lakhs that needs to be paid for C Kerala. And uh, the entire amount has to be paid at the allotted institute. Uh, we'll just confirm later on whether 5 lakhs needs to be paid as DD to CE Kerala for the prospectus. Last year, it was mentioned in previous year's prospectus, but last year this did not happen. All the amount may need to be paid at the allotted institute. Uh, if there is any uh, difference in that, we'll just let you know during in the comment section or when we do Kerala prospectus, uh, when we update the Kerala uh, uh, information based on the prospectus for 2023. Penalty. State round two allotted and did not join. Those candidates who were allotted in state round two and did not join. Uh, or state R2 allotted, joined and resigned before the deadline. A security deposit is forfeited but eligible for the mop up round. Uh, uh, these rules are based on last year. If there is any change in the rules this year, you will have to relook at the information. Penalty for state round two allotted and joined candidates who continued beyond the last date of admissions and into the mop up admissions. After that, uh, before the mop-up process, if you resign, after the mop-up notification is published, then you pay 10% of the tuition fee as a uh, penalty plus the security deposit paid is forfeited and you are not eligible for the mop-up round. State mop-up allotted, if you are allotted in state mop-up and you don't join, then a penalty of 2 lakhs along with whatever 10k already if you had paid the security deposit, that will also be forfeited. Uh, in case of government, you will forfeit the tuition fee 66,000 paid or in case or 76,000 paid. In case of private, you will forfeit the 2 lakhs that is paid. Uh, in the If the candidate resigns after joining a mop-up seat before the stray vacancy starts, then you will have a penalty of additional 2 lakhs that needs to be paid in addition to the 2 lakhs which you already forfeited. Uh, penalty, uh, resigning any, penalty for resigning any state seat after the initial stray vacancy. Once the stray vacancy starts, if you are resigning any seat, you will have to pay a penalty of 50 lakhs and you will be debarred for two years from counselling. If you are allotted in stray round and you don't join, allotment in stray round is, you know that it is an allotted probable list, etc. If you are allotted in the state initial stray round and do not join, then uh, the security deposit and registration fee or 2 lakhs is to be forfeited. This is based on the allotted or probable list. Uh, if you are uh, at that part of the point of the point and counselling, it is an all automatic allotment. So, fill in your mop-up choices properly. Uh, penalty for resigning a stray vacancy joint seat post that. Obviously, it is 50 lakhs. Like any time uh, after stray, if you are start of stray, if you are resigning your seat, you will pay a penalty of 50 lakhs because those seats will lap. Uh, you will also be debarred from two years from PG Medical Counselling of Kerala. Uh, note that the uh, uh, point... Uh, to be noted especially is uh, this part, if you are an R1 allotted candidate in Kerala, you are allotted an R1 and you join the seat and you did not get an upgradation, it is considered as a round 2 join seat automatically. Uh, if you if you confirm your choices in round 2, it will be, uh, if you uh, whether or not you confirm your choices or not confirm your choices in R2, your R1 seat will be retained if you are not getting an upgradation. So in that scenario, you will have to make a choice of joining the seat or resigning the seat before the last date of admissions if that option is provided this year. Uh, service bond and penalty. For government seats, we will look at the service bond and penalty. This is only for government seats. Non-service candidates have a one-year 50 lakh service bond. This is the same for state quota and all India quota. Uh, two sureties have to be provided. Uh, two uh, can be parents or guardians, but the signature of the sureties has, be, has to be attested by a gazetted officer. In-service candidates have a service bond of 10 years or service till superannuation, whichever is earlier, salary paid during the course plus the salary expected to be paid during two years bonded service with interest has to be paid considering a 25% increment every year. So it is uh, huge for service candidates in case they are, uh, they, uh, it is a huge penalty in case uh, they are taking up a seat under service category and uh, availing this, uh, availing the benefit of service category in the counselling. Surety is two in total, parents, guardians, in addition it can be uh, husband or wife who is signing the surety, but a gazetted officer has to attest it, attest the signatures. Course discontinuation penalty, uh, the highest course discontinuation penalty is possibly in uh, Kerala, uh, it is 50 lakhs plus the stipend or salary paid throughout and they also mention a clause saying that 
plus any other expenses incurred by the government usually it is 50 lakhs only uh, but 50 lakhs is huge so make a make the right call in joining a kerala seat if you are interested in a kerala seat this is also applicable for any discontinuation including a private institute discontinuation stipend provided is 55,120 to 57,200 till year 3 last year. So, this is the information on Kerala. In case you have any queries, just post the queries. Uh, we will also be looking at uh, the Zainad uh, 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 portal now uh, before uh, moving ahead. We will look at uh, the portal and we will look at uh, uh, how to look at Kerala information in detail. Kerala has multiple quotas and categories. So, we will just have a look at that. We'll just uh, before that we'll have a look at the comments that are uh, the, any queries that are available in the comment section. And the queries, please. Uh, okay, so there's a query or rather an information which is shared last time uh, for all minority uh, certificate two certificates one for state and the other for outside state purpose was given. Now when I checked from with my village officer she said only one certificate is so one thing that you need to check is see uh, it is fine as long as uh, there's one certificate that is not a criteria or anything but if you're looking at other states specifically uh, check whether the certificate is signed by the tasildar because some of the states may insist that a minority certificate by tasildar or above is required in kerala if the certificate is issued by the tasildar fine but if it is issued by the village officer just recheck on being issued by the Tasildar. If the other state that you are looking at, let us say you are looking at Karnataka for a minority seat, then or if you are looking at let us say uh, 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 let us say certain other states for Muslim minority seats, etc. So in that case, just check uh, on whether the Christian minority or Muslim minority uh, certificates that are offered are by Tasildar or above. So just that clarity is fine. As long as the format goes, it is fine. Uh, uh, if the state and outside state purpose are, are being combined into one, that is not an issue. Uh, for state purpose, that will anyway suffice. And uh, I think uh, that is pretty much what we have. And uh, uh, what we have, what we look at now is uh, uh, if you can confirm if uh, uh, the screen is visible, we will also go into Zainad. Is the screen visible? Is it visible now? Okay, so here under Zynod you have, we'll look at how you can look at information for Kerala and Zynod in detail for the last two years. You have the neat PG uh, link. Uh, some of you have con confusion on why only initial data is appearing. So if you look at, click, uh, change this drop down, you'll be able to swap a uh, change between uh, in a neat pg or any other exam sessions go into closing ranks and look at kerala as a state once you click on kerala pg medical you will have the complete see list of seats that are available that were available in kerala in 2021 and 2022 this is the complete list of closing ranks first thing as of now is the all india change this to counseling rank to from counseling counseling rank to all india rank as of now you don't have the state merit list of kerala these ranks mentioned over here, which are the closing ranks, are state ranks. If you change to All India, you will have the reference of the All India ranks. You will see that Kerala, there are a lot of seats which close. In fact, among the top 1000, there will be a lot of Kerala candidates, which uh, means two things. One, within the Kerala state ranks, there is competition. Second, there are possibilities that Kerala state candidates will also take seats in All India Council. So, uh, that split is also, uh, I mean, they won't rely only on the Kerala State Council. However, the reference point remains the same, irrespective of what happens. The reference points remain the same as long as the percentage of Kerala State candidates remains almost consistent. Uh, there has been no, no huge thing change over the years. Possibly this year too, it would be similar. After look, changing this to All India Rank, uh, you can possibly check here on what each category or quota means. You will have SM mentioning State Merit List. Uh, and the categories mentioned. So, if you belong to Latin Catholic category, LC is the category code that you need to check it. And similarly, so on for each category. You belong to Christian minority NRI. Then, and looking at NRI seats, you can select NC. If you are only looking at NRI seat NR and so on. And for persons with disability, the cat cat category is mentioned. So, this will give you an idea of what each category reference point is. So, if you are looking at government quota seats, just click on Kerala government quota. This is straight away the list of all seats that you are eligible for if you are a Kerala origin or a Kerala MBBS. Uh, 
Uh, second, you have the private self-financing seats too. These are the set of seats which are in private institutes which you are eligible for if you are Kerala origin or Kerala MBBS. So straight away, the split of quota is either government institute seats or private institute seats straight away. And for candidates who are looking at NRI seats, any candidate across India who is looking at NRI seats, select Kerala self-financing. We look at Kerala government quota first. Uh, I am selecting 2022 as a round for better clarity. Now, this will give you the closing ranks of 2022, round 1, round 2 and round 3. The stray round is a little tricky because it involves, uh, uh, it, uh, there are not many candidates av uh, available and the allotment list versus probable list and who was finally allotted, etc. There is some issue. So, there is some issue with reference to the, uh, there is, uh, it cannot be a trend basically. So, we have not uploaded the institutional vacancy, institutional stray round list. Now, uh, once you come in now, as we said, for 2022, you are looking at Kerala government quota and let us say I want to look at the general surgery closing ranks. I select MS general surgery over here and I select my category. Assuming I belong to the open category, I will select state merit. Under state merit, under Kerala government quota, these were the seats that were available last year. Uh, how many seats? Four seats were available in government medical college Koli code. And all of them were available only till round 2 and all the candidates who took those seats till round 2 joined. In round 1, it closed at 2568 and on clicking this, you will get the 4 candidates who were allotted in round 1. So, these were the 4 candidates who were allotted in round 1 and it was available till 2568 under SM category, general surgery in Kohli code. In 2022, however, there was shift and you will see that in 2000, uh, so 2022 round 1, however, round 1 that these are the 4 candidates who were allotted. In round 2, it went beyond 3000, rank 3000 and from 3000 to 3963 were allotted. The last rank candidate to take a seat in 2022 round 2 was 3963, that is the cutoff for closing rank. Similarly, in each of these uh, institutes, you will be able to see the cutoff for closing ranks and the number of seats allotted. Now, you see in round 3 that only in Kotayam, Trivandrum and Trishur, there was one seat available. What does this mean? Out of the candidates allotted, 4 plus 3 plus 7 plus 5, which is 16 candidates, 3 of them did not join and therefore there were vacancies in round 3 and these seats were available in round 3 and they went on till this particular round. Should you wait for round 3? It is a very tricky call, but this information is available for you to uh, at least take a decision or look at trends till round 2, which will be, uh, which will not have a major deviation. But looking at round 1 trends of this year, you will get to understand. Other than this, you have the fee and factors column where you have the uh, fee details are mentioned here, stipend and bond penalty are mentioned here. But beyond that, you have the bond details and remarks over here. If there is an asterisk over here, it mentions that uh, please look at fee and factors for additional re remarks. Look at fee and factors, you will see that the fee is mentioned, the hostel fee is also mentioned over and above that. Under bond details, there was an asterisk, right? The star mark basically indicates that there is a remark over here, which says 50 lakhs, but plus stipend received, plus amount spent in government for studies and for in-service, what is the differentiation? Similarly, the seat leaving penalty and the stipend details for every year. You will see this first year stipend over here. Under the fee and factors, you will see all year stipend. And in case there is a remark on the stipend, you will also see a, an asterisk mark over here. Let us say you belong to a different category, backward class Hindu. In that case, you will be eligible for BH and SM seats. You will select SM and BH. In addition to whatever you saw earlier, you will also see the BH seats, which is ALP seats and Kohli code seats, one each and at what ranks they closed for BH category. We also have the bed count for most of the institutes. For some, for the rest of the institutes, we will be updating that. Now, in case you want to further filter it down, you are looking at Kerala self-financing seats. Automatically, you will get the information for Kerala self-financing seats as well uh, in this. You will get information for Kerala self-financing seats as well for any course that you wish to. We will take the example of pediatrics uh, and we will take the example of, let us say, uh, Muslim minority candidates over here and you will see the closing ranks. Here you see that we selected 2022. Uh, there is also a, a general query on why certain seats are appearing only in 2021 and 2022. This means Muslim minority seats in MES were available in 2021. But in 2022, there are no Muslim minority seats. Therefore, you see dashes against these. In, uh, in this case, 
no Muslim minority seat was available in 2021. So nobody was allotted. But in 2022, there were three Muslim minor, uh, there was one Muslim minority seat which was allotted to candidate 1277, and the candidate retained the same seat in round two and continued with the seat, and therefore it is available. So this you can do it for self-financing or uh, uh, or for any uh, or for any quota that you are interested in. Let us say we look at Kerala self-financing and the Kerala government quota together, and I am looking at state merit seats. I am not sure what uh, uh, institute or state, uh, seat I will get, speciality I will get. And I will filter out on All India rank and I will say from, let us say my uh, All India rank is 10,000, I will say give me all seats that were allotted between 8,000 and whatever maximum rank you can go, 15,000 or 20,000 as far as All India rank goes in state merit list in clinicals. So this gives you a complete list of all allotments available in government quota, in the self-financing quota in clinicals in the rank range of 8,000 to 22,000, if you want to filter out on 2022, you will have the complete list of seats where at least one seat were closed between 8,000 to 22,000. So here you will have the complete list and you will see that these are the seats that were allotted under SM category. If I want to limit it to government quota, I can remove the self-financing quota or I can select government institute over here, either way it works. Now it will give you the complete list of seats that were available and you will see that general medicine ENT, uh, general medicine pediatrics are not available. What was available is from the list of seats. If you want to further filter out, let us say on ENT, instantly you will be able to filter out on ENT. So this is what uh, uh, Zynod offers. In addition to this, you also have the resources section with the complete information on videos, every information that is required for the counselling, past allotments, uh, every data that uh, comes up from Kerala. For, like if you want to go to refer uh, last year's Kerala information, just go into the resources section, select uh, Kerala. You will have all the notifications of previous year and if you want to uh, go back and check whether the data is valid, you will have all the allotments of Kerala available. Uh, NRI too, you will be able to check over here by selecting NRI. So this is, uh, the, uh, they will be updating the entire fee stipend bond details for 2022. We also have this information for All India Counseling over here. Uh, instantly filterable, instantly available information which will be updated with 2023 trends like you know. If you are a subscriber, you would have already gone through that. Any queries on Kerala or any queries, you can always call us on our uh, number and we'll be able to uh, support number uh, process rules regulation related queries we always uh, support Let's hold on we uh, some problem. we'll just uh, take uh, the final comment uh, final queries in case you have any further queries uh, just let us know Private Institute uh, We will have to update the stipend of the private institutes. There might be a difference in the stipend in certain private institutes. Yes, it is not. Uh, it is supposed to be the same. It is not necessarily the same. We will be updating that for Kerala. And uh, mop up results come before the last date of All India mop up joining. Doesn't matter at all uh, because you are asking whether the Kerala mop up results will come before uh, All India mop up uh, last date of joining. See, uh, this is not relevant actually. Uh, the Kerala mop up results may be coming after the uh, coming up after the last date of All India mop up joining. But why is it not relevant? Uh, the query is relevant only if All India mop up allotted uh, if you are allotted in All India mop up and you are looking at an allotment in state mop up too. Correct? That is when the query is relevant. You are looking at All India mop up before the last date of change joining. You think that if state mop up results come. I will be able to choose between the two. That will never happen because any All India mop up allotted candidates will not be allotted in state mop up. Kerala has the rule where All India mop up allotted candidates are not eligible for state mop up. Therefore, this is not relevant. If you want the exact timelines, we can tell you. Just send across a mail to hello at jaina.com. When it comes in, we will tell you. But you won't be part of the both the allotment list for sure because Kerala follows that process till last year. So, uh, that is pretty much the queries we have. The private institute stipend will be uh, upload, updating in Zynet. Uh, uh, we, the stipend is uh, uh, different across different institutes, not always, uh, uh, not, sorry, uh, okay. Uh, so, 
not uh, not all the institutes are uh, 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 not all the institutes pay the exact stipend as prescribed by the government there is a difference in the stipend we'll just get back to you on the stipend as well just hold on if there is a okay 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 so uh, yeah so we'll also we will also we have also collated the feedback on stipend and uh, we'll be uh, taking that up and uh, we'll be sharing that information on uh, kerala as well uh, we've got information from a few institutes we'll be collecting all the institutes and we'll be sharing that information for kerala we'll be updating that when the 2023 updates happen for all the institutes thank you so much uh, if there are any queries uh, if you're a subscriber you can send across a mail to hello@zaino.com or better call us up uh, we are available uh, throughout the day between except for between 4:30 to 7:30 uh, from 9 am to 10 pm we are available on a support number in for queries on process rules regulations eligibility etc we would request you to call, uh, get all your queries classified uh, clarified get all the info videos done uh, get all the look at all the info videos like this so that the rules are clear uh, at the time of counseling uh, if you're looking at information quick information uh, it uh, it is all uh, or uh, information to take decisions it's always better to have that information and have that idea of what is what are the rules etc so that it is easier for you to use the information during the time of counseling and take decisions uh, basically looking at uh, how zynerd works and how the entire uh, how you can pull out data from zynerd and what are the rules of different counselings and how you can analyze the data. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, the only open query as of now is the stipend details which we will get for you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.